Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, uh, I saw something interesting yesterday. I don't know whether this was before the weigh-in or after the weigh-in, but I saw uh, Jamal Charlo approach Caleb Plant and tell Caleb Plant that we must fight. Before we get into it and before we discuss everything, smash the like button, guys. Let's get this video to 70 likes. Uh, share this video. Get this video out there. Uh, hit the like button, of course. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. But yeah, I saw an interesting, uh, I saw something very interesting, Jamal Charlo approaching Caleb Plant and telling Caleb Plant, we must fight. He even told him that I'm rooting for you. Um, obviously, they are two Americans and it would make for a great fight. I, it's a fight that I actually would really, really be intrigued. Obviously, we've got this big fight tonight. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what Caleb Plant shows. But if Caleb Plant does put in a good performance, even in uh, defeat, uh, it's a fight that I would be very interested in. I think, it's sty I think stylistically, it would be a very hard matchup for Jamal Charlo because I think Caleb Plant has an awkward style and a horrible style for, for uh, Jamal Charlo. I think Jamal Charlo has trouble with movers. And I think that would be a very good fight. Having said that, Jamal Charlo is very physically strong. He takes a punch well and he is, and he is he can crack a little bit. But at 168, will his power carry? Because let's not forget, Jamal Charlo's come from 154. So he's not the biggest of dudes. Caleb Plant is a natural super middleweight and a naturally big man. Uh, it would be a very intriguing fight. And we need to see these guys mix it up more. And that's the problem I've got. I think feel like everybody's chasing Canelo Alvarez, but we're forgetting that there's very other good matchups that can be made and fights. Like if, Jam if, if Jamal Charlo was fighting Caleb Plant today, I'm not saying it wouldn't have anywhere near the hype that it's got now because of Canelo, of course, but it would still be a big fight and it will still be a fight that we'll all be tuning in for. And let's not forget, both of those guys are under the PBC banner. So that fight could be made in a heartbeat. If, 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 if Caleb wins, obviously that makes it a massive fight. Uh, but he's obviously going to have to have a rematch with Canelo if he wins. Uh, if he was to lose, that's still a fight that intrigued me because obviously, you know, losing to Canelo, there's no shame. And then he can fight Jamal Charlo. That would be a big fight. And also we'll get to see how good Jamal Charlo is, especially if Caleb puts in a respectable performance and loses a decision or, you know, puts, gives Canelo a lot of trouble and gets stopped late. That's a respectable uh, performance which will then warrant another biggish fight. And, and Jamal Charlo would be another big fight. So that is, these are the type of fights that I'm, I want to see. I don't really just want to see Canelo fight all these guys. I want to see Jamal Charlo and Caleb Plant and Benavidez and Andre and, and um, you know, Golovkin um, and the other, you know, uh, what's his name? Yeah, all of those guys fight one another. You know, there's Billy Joe, if he wants to get in the mix, you know, Chris Eubank. I want to see all these guys in the mix and fight each other. It's not always about fighting the best in terms of Canelo, right? I know that's a big payday and obviously there's a lot that comes with a Canelo fight. But, you know, fans want to see you fight each other. Because what these guys do is these guys seem to, when they're not fighting a big fight with Canelo, they're either fighting nobodies. And that's the problem that I have is the fact that when these guys are not fighting in a huge fight. It's either a super fight with Canelo or it's either nothing. And there's too many big fights. Like I've just named Benavidez, Andrade, Caleb Plant, Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andrade, Golovkin, Munguia. You know, I've just named six guys there and we can get all of them to fight each other. Great combinations as you know, they can all fight each other. And they can all make good money and they can all give the fans great fights. And th that's what they need to do. And unfortunately, they don't do that. And it's very frustrating for the fans because it feels like, why isn't Android fighting Charlo? Why isn't Charlo fighting Golovkin? Why isn't Charlo fighting um, Benavidez? Why isn't Benavidez fighting Android? You know, it it's just frustrating for the fans. It's like you're all waiting for that Canelo payday, but just fight each other. The problem it, it problem is that they know if they lose to one another, if they lose to one another, one of them's gonna lose. So they don't want to take that risk unless because they know then they won't get that Canelo payday. And that's the problem. Everybody's looking to be safe before they get that big super fight, before they get that big payday. So nobody wants to take that jump. Nobody wants to take that leap. And at the, at what's happening is they're becoming underrated. People are saying they're not fighting anybody. Their resumes are poor. They're not really creating a legacy. Uh, and what happens is when they do fight Canelo, they get beat. 
And then when you look back at it, you'll say like Caleb, people are saying about Caleb Plant, he's not proven, he's not done anything, he's not fought anyone. Same with Andre. And then if they fight Canelo and lose, right, people are going to say, well, oh, you know, they haven't really fought anybody. What have they done? They're not proven at all. But by fighting each other, if they're in classics, they could have rematches, trilogies, also build interest in themselves, enhance their own name. Like right now, Billy Joe Saunders became a bigger star by fighting Canelo. Callum Smith became bigger fighting Canelo. But if all of these guys fought each other in great fights, right, they, they would already be big names in their own right. But the fact is that they're not fighting one another. Caleb Plant's not fighting, like he's not fought any of the other top guys in the division. You know, he didn't fight Smith, he didn't fight Saunders, he didn't fight Benavidez, he didn't fight anybody. Same with Benavidez, he ain't fought anybody, right? In uh, the top brass guy, he hasn't fought anybody. Same with Andre, he hasn't fought anybody. Charlo, likewise. At 161, you know, and he's not fought at 168, but 160, he's not really fought any of the top guns. So this is a fight between Jamal Charlo and Caleb Plant that would definitely interest me. And I know it would interest you guys. But it's about making the fight. And what is more staggering is that these fights should be made easily because they're under the same banner. Benavidez, Charlo uh, and uh, Plant. These are guys are all under the same banner. I can understand Andre's with Dizone. It's a lot harder. But all of these names, the three names that I mentioned, and none of these three are for each other. You know, so it's frustrating that, you know, we're not getting the fight, fights that the fans want to see, you know, and, and that's the same with the lightweight division. Devin Haney, Lomachenko, Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, Shakur, all of these guys need to start fighting each other. They're fighting other guys, but just fight one another. Lomachenko, like all of these guys need to fight each other. Because the fact, that's what the fans want to see. The fans want to see big fights. They want to see good fights. The same with the middleweight, super middleweight division. I feel like they're all waiting. Like in the, in the lightweight division, there isn't one big star, right? That everybody wants to fight. They're all relatively deep, you know, biggish names. No one's a superstar like Canelo. Canelo's kind of got to that Mayweather level where everybody's waiting for that big fight because they know it's a huge payday. So what's happened is those guys up around those weight classes aren't fighting anybody because they're worried. Like, Andre, I'll give it him. He, you know, he'll probably fight any of those guys. Uh, he just can't seem to get, get a break and he can't seem to fight. But the fact is, you know, people have made a good point about Andre as well, that in 12, 13 years, he's not got anybody in the ring with him. Surely there's some, there, has to be, there has to be some kind of blame on Andre and his team that they've not, they've not done a good enough job. Because he's been around, he's been around longer than any of these guys. Likewise, Jamal Charlo, he's been around for Charlo and Andre have been around for a very long time. Like Caleb Plant, not been around for very long. Um, neither is Benavidez, but these guys have been around for at least a decade now. Charlo and 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 Andre, they've been around for a very long time. So. They need to step up their game because what you, what you got to understand is Andre's no young guy. Andre's about 33. He may be a fresh fighter because, he, you know, most of his fights have been relatively comfortable and easy. But it does even then, the training camps and the fact that you're aging, your body starts to become weaker. You're not going to be the same fighter. And then when you do get that big fight, if you get blown out, right, people are going to say this guy was overrated. He was... No, not very good. So, like I said, Andre needs to strike now. So does Charlo. They need to get those big fights now. And if they can't get a Canelo fight, Canelo moves up. They need to start fighting one another. They need to start fighting one another. They need to start fighting one another, man. I, I like what Jamel has done. Because Jamel, at 154, has he, he tried to become undisputed. So you got to give him credit because he's fighting everybody. Now, I would like to see Jamel fight Brian Castano again in a rematch, but I don't think that's going to happen. But again, at least Jamel's tried to, you know, become undisputed. So you got to respect that. But with Jamal, it's at 160, he hasn't really had a, a big fight. You know, Caleb Plant would be a big fight if he puts in a great performance today. It would definitely be a fight that the fans would like to see. So hopefully... Hopefully we can get Jamal and Caleb Plant down the road, down the, down the line. We can get that fight. It's a great fight. It's a great fight. 
I, I think it would stylistically would the, the styles would clash as well. It'd be a great fight. It would be a great fight. You know, hopefully these guys can start fighting one another. But yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.